Shalom. My name is Moray Ishaya Yisrael. From the House of Israel in Cincinnati, Ohio, 2330 Kemper Lane, bringing to you in 40 minutes or less. In 40 minutes or less, I will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt the word of Yahweh. Who is this Yahweh? Yahweh is the creator of the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein. Yahweh is the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yisrael, whom you may know as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our judge. Yahweh is our lawgiver. Yahweh is our king who will save us. Shalom. Welcome to another program of 40 minutes or less. Today's program in lesson number 26, we will deal with the subject matter of the Messiah. Of course, the Old Testament versus the New Testament. And why Old Testament versus New Testament? because I want you to see crystal clearly that these are two different books all together. These books have nothing to do with one another. As a matter of fact, as we will show you that the New Testament is a total contradiction of the word of Yahweh. And the word of Yahweh is housed and contained and what you know of as the Old Testament or the Holy Scriptures. And we're going to deal with this subject matter, the Messiah, because the world will tell you that Christ is the Messiah. The New Testament will tell you that Christ is the Messiah. The various religions will tell you that Christ is the Messiah but not so with the Old Testament, not so with the Holy Scriptures, not so with Yahweh. And like we always say, we're going to do this and prove it in 40 minutes or less. The Messiah. And we're going to start this subject matter in the book of Psalms 2. Let us start there. Psalms 2. In the book of Psalms, the second division, which is a Psalm of David, this is what it says. It's just 12 verses, and we're going to read them all. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder, cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Yahweh shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill, of Zion, I will declare the decree. Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. This ain't Christ, this is David, as you will learn and see. Ask me of ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve Yahweh with fear. Rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So whoever this heir to the throne. That's what it means when it says 
kiss the sun. It's talking about the heir through to the throne of David. And it's only one heir to his throne. It's his sons that will end up finalizing with him. And I'm going to show you the various witnesses to prove beyond a shot of a doubt what I'm telling you is the truth. So this is the first witness in the book of Psalm 89. Now watch this. Psalms 89. Who is the Messiah? Well, the word Messiah is just a Greek word that means anointed. And the scripture is going to tell you who is Yahweh's anointed. Watch this. Psalms 89. And we're going to start reading in the 19th verse. Then thou spake in vision to thy holy one and says, I've laid help upon one that is mighty. I have resulted one chosen out of the people. I found David my servant. With my oil, holy oil have I anointed him. In other words, Yahweh could have said anybody. He done anointed a lot of people. But he only anointed one to be a Messiah. Watch what it says. With him my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. I will beat down his foes before his face. Plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand also in the sea and his right hand in the rivers. He shall cry unto me, born higher than the kings of the earth. My mercy will I keep for him forevermore. And my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever. And his throne as the days of heaven. So he's not only the Messiah, the anointed, but Yahweh said he is his firstborn. Higher than all the kings of the earth. And we read in Psalm 2, Yahweh said, this is my son, my begotten. Furthermore, in the book of Psalm 49, watch what it says. Since we in Psalms, talking about the Messiah, he said David was his anointed. That's what the word Messiah means. But there's many messiahs. No. Yeah, it is true. There's many people been anointed, but not to be the everlasting king. Watch what this is. Psalm 49. And we're going to read verse 14 and 15. It says, like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. And their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But Elohim will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. For he shall receive me, Selah. So here it is. Psalm of David, David knew, David even spoke on the fact that Yahweh will redeem his soul from the grave to be king again. And I'm going to show you other scriptures that prove what I'm telling you is the truth. Yahweh never said anything about raising Christ up, even though that's what the New Testament teach. But Yahweh talked about raising David before there was even 
thought of of a New Testament, as we can see here. And not just here. Watch what Yahweh say in the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, talking about the Messiah. David was called the anointed one. He was called the firstborn. He was called the son of the Most High. He was even called Yahweh's begotten. And now here it is in the book of Jeremiah 30, when David had been long dead, Long dead during the time of Jeremiah. But watch what Jeremiah prophesied about this David, the Messiah. Watch what he said in Jeremiah 30 and 8. For it shall come to pass in that day, said Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him, but they shall serve Yahweh, their Elohim, and David, their king, whom I will raise up unto them. See, Yahweh is going to raise David up. As we read in Psalm 49, that he will be raised up and be redeemed from the power of the grave. You've been told all these lies that this is supposed to be Christ when in fact it's supposed to be David. And not just there. In the book of Ezekiel 34, talking about the Messiah. And watch what it says in Ezekiel 34. In the book of Ezekiel 34, and we're going to start reading at the 22nd verse, and watch what it says. Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. And I will set up one shepherd over them, just one. So you won't be confused. And he shall feed them, even my servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. And I, Yahweh, will be their Elohim, my servant David, a prince among them, I, Yahweh, have spoken it. Now, do Yahweh have to speak anything else? Really, he shouldn't, but he does. In the book of Ezekiel 37, let us turn there. Ezekiel 37. Well, we done showed you one, two, three, four. Five, and now this is the sixth witness. That what I'm telling you is the truth. Ezekiel 37. Watch what this says. And we're going to start reading at the 21st verse. And say unto them, Thus is Yah Elohim. Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. One king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided in two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people and I will be their Elohim. And David, my servant, shall be king over them. And they all shall have one shepherd. And we already know that's David. They shall also walk in my judgments 
and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I've given unto Yaakov, my servant, where your father said dwell. And they shall dwell therein, even they, their children, their children, children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Forever. Is that enough for you to believe in Yahweh? And I know that it's not. So therefore, and look, during the time of Jeremiah, David was dead. During the time of Ezekiel, David was dead. And then the next scripture we're going to is in the book of Hosea, which is the seven witness. And David was dead during the time of Hosea. And watch what it says in the book of Hosea, the third chapter. And let's see if this is telling you the same thing that I've been showing you about David being a Messiah. Is this the truth? Hosea, the third chapter, the fourth verse. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, without a prince, without a sacrifice, without an image, without an ephod, and without a teraphim. Afterwards shall the children of Israel return and see Yahweh, their Elohim, and David, their king, and shall fear Yahweh and his goodness in the last days. Again, signifying the truth that David will be the Messiah. David will be the king. David is the one that is anointed. And also, let's continue to read. Isaiah, the ninth chapter, which is the eighth witness. Isaiah 9. In the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, in the sixth verse, it says, For unto us a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Elohim, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And watch this. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, upon his kingdom, who kingdom? David, to order it, to establish it with judgment, with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this. So everything you're looking for in this false, fictitious Messiah is in David. The difference is David is not to be worshipped. David is not to be revered. But David will be your king. He will be your shepherd. He will be served. But David is not your savior. Yahweh is your savior. But David will be king forever. And not just king. In the book of Psalm 110, which is the last scripture, I will show you. Psalm 110. In the book of Psalm 110, in this song, they will call this a Psalm of David. And they put that there to have you to believe 
that David called someone else Lord other than Yahweh. And this is not the truth. This is not even a Psalm of David. As a matter of fact, let me just show you this right before I show you Psalm 110. Right before I show you that. In the book of Psalm 72. So you can understand that Psalm 110 is not David's song at all. And in the book of Psalm 72, the 20th verse, it says the prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. David only wrote 72 of the songs, 72 of the 150 songs. And in Psalm 72, it says his prayers, his songs are ended. So when we get to Psalm 110, and we're going back to Psalm 110, this is not a Psalm of David at all. They just put that there to have you to believe that Yahweh or David called someone else Lord other than Yahweh. And he didn't because that's not his song at all. This is a servant of David. And watch what it says. Yahweh said unto my Lord. In other words, Yahweh said unto my master. Because that's what this word Lord means. Sit thou at my right hand. Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. David is the only one where Yahweh told, told him, where well, I'm going to beat down your foes. I'm going to beat down your enemies. So this makes total sense. Yahweh shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. As we read in Psalm 89. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And the beauties of Holiness from the wound of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Yahweh has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So not only will he be king, a shepherd, but he also will be a priest, a prince. Furthermore, Yahweh, at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall wound the heads of over many countries. He shall drink of the brook of the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. That's what Yahweh would do for his anointed. And who is that? Who is his Messiah? All through the Old Testament, all through the Holy Scriptures, it is David. And until our next program, Yahweh love you, and so do I. Shalom. Yahweh is righteous. Yahweh is holy, and let Yahweh continually be magnified.